I love using Lineage OS on my device. The version I'm talking about here is Lineage OS 20 official version what I'm using right now on my device and the device is Mi 11X. If you are watching me for some time, you already know that I'm using Mi 11X and this is one of the best devices I have ever used under 30K. You can see the Android security update is 5th of May 2023 but the reality is Lineage OS is already bringing you the June security patch and this is only one of the few custom homes which provides you the June security patch but for my device at least it's with the main security patch but that is not the case. The main case is why I am loving this Lineage OS because I, I tried a lot of custom homes. Lineage OS is still one of the best. I made a video some time ago regarding the most stable custom home and that was Lineage and this is what we have. One thing which I found here is in the wallpapers and style we finally have the icon font and shape and why I am talking about this one it depends upon which google apps you are installing. If you are installing mind the google apps which is mind the g app something like that if you are installing that one from their official website then you might get this option too and this is one of the one of my favorite features because lineage OS by default does not support monet theming but with this this google apps kind of things this is amazing. Secondly, the launcher. Launcher is the Trebuchet launcher and it is only one of those customers which brings you this because a lot of customers provides you Pixel launcher or maybe launcher 3 based their own custom launches. But in this case, you can see very useful features included already like hidden and protected apps is also included. You can hide the apps from, the, from this app drawer or you can even protect them with your of course app locker. Another thing is Lineage OS because what I found in Pixel experience you get that dark quick settings panel even if you use a light mode and that is also stock based but Lineage OS will bring you this kind of quick settings panel which is having the light shade which means if you use a light mode you will see the light quick settings panel if you use a dark mode you will get the dark quick settings panel. Another thing is what I'm using right now is Magisk Delta. I made a video comparison video recently regarding what is the difference between Magisk or Magisk Delta. I mean what are the major differences in both of that. What is better for you and how and why everything. You can check out that and right now I'm using Magisk Delta which is having a lot of useful features including Magisk Hide of course which is necessary to use some rooted apps on my device. And yes, SafeNet does not pass by default in Lineage OS, so that's why Magisk Delta is needed. Another thing is, as I don't use Face Unlock, it's not present here. Secondly, App Locker is present in the default launcher, of course, but that's completely fine because Tabletjet Launcher is having almost everything what you need, and it does it. Uh, it is also having the scramble layout feature, which is a very useful thing too. Another thing is in the privacy options, you will be able to notice it is having this trust. And by the way, Lineage OS is actually one of those custom homes which brings you some privacy features and it is privacy focused, but depends upon if you use Google Apps or not, of course. Trust is having these options. For example, this restrict USB feature is quite useful. You can simply control the support for USB connection. You have the option to deny those USB connections, allow or etc. You have these options. Another interesting thing which I found here is at least for me is this minimum refresh rate option. A lot of custom homes I have ever tried it gives you the option for of course 60 or 120 as my device does not support 90 hertz by default but in lineage 90 hertz is here. I'm actually not sure if it is helpful for me or not but sometimes I use 90 hertz and this is really useful. In the battery section what I found here is the battery usage from the last full charge and the graph is exactly same like AOSP. If you are uh, if you're watching me from some time or if you know about those custom homes pixel uh, pixel chart or pixel graph does not look that that great UI and also it does not give you the clear idea regarding the battery backup but AOSP graph is quite amazing. Also it have this cloud flare DNS already included although I don't use that of course I'm using dns.adguard which is a great thing of course to block ads on a device and if you're not using this thing what are you using on your Android device you should use you should try it out or it's very easy to simply turn it off by just clicking that option. In network traffic monitor what I found here is I think this is new this was not available previously which is this you have the option to customize this thing you have the option for display mode like upload and download but in most of the custom homes you have only upload or or only download but in this case both of these options are present and all the useful features are included one thing which is missing from here is the swipe to screenshot unfortunately it's not there but other than else it's amazing link is available in the description make sure to give it a try thanks for watching goodbye